You are watching the 2020 New Zealand Strongest Woman and the New Zealand Strongman Classic live from the Kumiu Classic Car and Hot Rod Festival. We've got six action-packed events over the two-day weekend, including the crowd favourites, the Car Walk, the Max Deadlift and of course the Atlas Stones. So here we've got Shana Wurihana attempting a New Zealand record 230 kilogram deadlift. She's pulling it in and solid and smooth from Shana. That's a new New Zealand women's deadlift record. Super, super impressive stuff. But it could be the shortest lived New Zealand record in history. The final attempt for the women's round. Gabby Dixon, 232.5 and kilos. This will be a new New Zealand record. Oh, wow. Very, very easy there. 232.5. All right, Stan Cocker, 371 record attempt. New Zealand Strongman Series record attempt. It's hyping up the crowd. Ooh. Just not quite able to pull it in there. Very, very close effort from Stan. All right, 250 kilos on the yoke from the current New Zealand strongest woman, Shana Wurihana. 15 metre course. She's away, quick feet, looking solid under the weight. 250 kilos on the back. Just 10 seconds in, very close to the finish line. And a very fast time. So currently in the lead after the first event, Gabby Dixon. 12.17 is the time to beat. Sitting up strong. She looks focused. 15 meters the course, 250 kilograms. And she's off and she is motoring down the course. Absolutely flying. She's well over halfway and this could be under 10 seconds. So impressive. Byron Coney are making a solid start, 360 kilos, they've got to get the car balanced. Just going to reset it, and over the finish line, very solid time. Alright, Stan Cocker, New Zealand's current strongest man, 360 kilos on his back, he's got it up and he is flying down the course. He's making it look like there's no weight. This could well be the fastest time. There it is. 10.28 seconds. That's why he's the champ. Kylie Vincent making light work of the 250 kilo tyre. They've got to flip it 20 metres down the course. This is over three times her own body weight. She's got to control those bobbles. Making light work of it. One more flip and she should be over the finish line in a very respectable time. Now we have a new leader, 35.78 for Carlos. 
currently in the lead after the first two events, Gabby Dixon, and she is absolutely manhandling this tyre. It's 250 kilos and she is making it look like it weighs nothing. Very solid technique from the initial kick up, kick it over with the knee. Textbook stuff from Gabby. Could be the first woman under 30 seconds. Let's have a look. Last flip. Jaron Vaimalu cracking onto the men's 350 kilo tie. He's got to control every bobble. Every half a second counts on this one. 45 and some changes of time to beat. Jaron was motoring down the course. He's got to control those bobbles. Come on, Jay. Come on, bro. Pick it up, bro. 24 seconds. He's almost at the finish line already. He's making a good, good time. This will be the last one over the finish line it goes and in a time of 34.03 for Jerem. So Stan's won the first two events into the 350 kilo tie flip. He's controlling the bobbles, he's looking very smooth. Can he go under 30 seconds? He'll be the first man to do so. The tie flip obviously taxing the legs, taxing the lungs, the upper back, everything's being worked. He's just about to the finish line, one more flip, let's see if he gets that, 30 seconds. And just over. 31.67, that's enough for the event win, that's three event wins for Stan. So Shana Wurihana winning the women's tie flip, Gabby Dixon in second and Kylie Vincent very close behind in third place. So on the men's tie flip, Stan Cocker 31.67 enough for the event win, Jerem Vaimalu in second, Byron Konia just over 40 seconds in third, unfortunately Jason Woods injured. So the final standings after day one of the women's event, Gabby Dixon in front by one point over the current New Zealand champion Shana Wurihana, Kylie Vincent in third and Suwea Cocker in fourth. And into the men's stand, three event wins from three, he's way out in front. Jeremy and Byron very close in second and third. And then Uffa sitting solid in fourth spot. Jason Woods, like I said, injured.